Yo, what is up, frigs and figs? Man, I didn't I bet you didn't expect me to say that. Uh, so, um, interestingly enough, um, we went to the DMD a little while ago, and uh, I had uh, probably the closest thing to, you know, not definitely not a bad trip. I don't really see bad trips. Uh, or, well, I mean, I don't really have them. I mean, if they are totally chaotic, totally meaningless, sure. This, not so much. Just unpleasant. Uh, not totally unpleasant, it's just more so towards the end. You know? I did a big old blast out of my Vapor Genie. Um, clear a little over 30 milligrams in pretty much one hit. Um, and, uh, oh boy, yeah, hyperspace opened up to me, and, uh, you know, I was in the Tryptamine Palace, uh, and, uh, for, I mean, for those of you who don't know, this is, I don't even know the term Tryptamine Palace, I know it's the name of a book, but I think that book's about 5-MEO anyways. Um, but, uh, I just think it's a perfect, uh, way of describing uh the landscape of it it's like you see these very bright sometimes they're black but like still there's light coming out from them uh they almost look like kind of cityscapes like um you know in inception when the cities are like moving or the streets and cities are moving up like that and around and Kind of like that if the buildings on the streets were like spinning around and made out of gold and jewels and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, so this time, did it, got there. Um, and uh, you know, I've never seen these little like, little, like blue jelly fish things that people like talk about um, when they do that. Even, um, like, uh, I do, however, see, like, um, like little HR Giger looking things. So they kind of look like a mix between an HR Giger design and, um, like the robots in the Matrix. And they'll be slinking from one part of the palace to the other. And I can see, like, if you look around, like, there's various different, like, Almost like alternate versions of the palace you're looking at. It's interesting. But it's very hard to explain, like anything with DMT. But um, then, and I explained this in the DMT entities I've known and loved, um, the peacocker. Um, this mother... He made... The last... I, like, I don't know, even after I came out of it, like, he was still being a... Dick. This fucking guy was like, like, cause I've told you about this guy. Like, I told you about how he'll like, he'll go out to me like, that like, kind of thing. But like, he was doing that fucking every five seconds, and like, out of fucking nowhere. Like, I'd be looking down at like little pixies and shit, um, and. uh like, like sexy little pixies and then just oh, woo, he just fucking startles the shit out of me and like I'm a big fan of horror movies but I've always hated jump scares especially unearned jump scares I like good jump scares like in Jacob's Ladder or whatever I don't even know why I went to light that again <laughs> anyways <coughs> There are certainly earned jump scares, but this was getting annoying. And so I was like trying to reason with him, but like every direction I turned, he would find some way of like, I know, blending into the background and then, oh, and I was like, okay, I know what you are. You're me, you're me when I have to act tougher than I am. Integrate, okay? Now you can knock it the fuck off. 
And of course not. Of course he doesn't. So, what you gonna do? Um, uh, I was starting to get pissed off. I was starting to go like myself when I was like able to fucking move again. Because like, you know, it's weird. Like I'd close my eyes and it would happen again like after I came out of it. Um, but then I realized like, I think it was like, maybe protecting these like female entities, little pixie people, um, sexy little pixie people. <laughs> um, uh, Cause I remember once, and this is a very weird hallucination. It doesn't say anything about me. It's just a fucking weird hallucination I had when I did a lot of acid a long time ago. I think it was two, uh, 225 my kiss. Um, and uh, I remember I was closing my eyes and uh, these women started appearing and they were fucking gorgeous. They were like showing me whatever I wanted to see. I've had this experience, even on lesser doses, but nothing like this. Like I've seen women fucking all across my vision like that when I had my eyes closed with fucking big ass knockers and all in bikinis and like I swear I could hear this like uh, 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 sound and so I was like okay so I was like let's get fucking G um I mean if you're gonna do psychedelics and not fuck around with entities what are you doing? You're missing out, I'm telling you. Anyways, um, yeah, so I, uh, fucking, I don't know, like, after just, like, maybe ten minutes of fucking around, I, I was waiting to watch fucking Die Hard. Uh, so I, I didn't want to fucking spend all night doing this. Um, and I, you know, I still, you know, even back then saw it as a hallucination, not necessarily, or an archetype. Not necessarily, um, you know, a real thing. So, uh, I was like, okay, well, this is cool. I might as well fucking get my rocks off to it. And fucking... I just... But... And this is the part that might say something weird about me. <laughs> if that doesn't already. Um... <clears throat> but it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Um... The... As soon as I climaxed, I got hit with, like, the most intense like post nut fucking depression and I saw this woman appear and I guess she was like an amalgamation of all of them and she looked like the personification of nature like like she was like it's hard to explain um mostly made out of roots but with like um a human face and it almost looked like a crown of thorns or some shit and she was just giving me this look like like she was not happy with my ass and then then this is the weird shit um this big fucking like black dude like big black dude with unrealistically large muscles like i don't know if you've seen like these photoshop pictures of people who supposedly did steroids and their arms are like like, they got, like, 20 fucking massive mounds on each arm, and it's obviously, like, fucking Photoshop. That was very similar to what I saw. Um, and he was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Like, I was like, okay, dude. Okay. And I just opened my eyes and went and watched Die Hard. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe you're, like, that guy. Um... You know, what, uh, again, this is all just in my own mind. I don't believe it to be anything more. I mean, it could be, but I don't think so. <sighs> Fuck it. Um, but, uh, yeah, like... <sighs> so it's, I, I, I related that. And, you know, at the same time, like, I'm trying to mediate here. I'm trying to be like, dude, I love you. I love our entity friend. Give me a hug, you know? Uh, <laughs> but he wasn't having it. Um, so I, uh, I was, I was pondering that, like, as things went on a little bit, and 
Uh, so then I was like, wait a second. Are you doing the, like, I did, was that guy like, like, was he like the protector of that uh, nature lady in the LSD trip? Wait, uh, what, so what does that make you? Are you with the pimp of these fucking pixies? So I was like, fuck you if that's the case, dude. <laughs> You shouldn't be pimping around other DMT entities, god damn it. Nah, I know, it all sounds fucking ridiculous. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, it, I just was getting so fucking tired of him going, <laughs> like, 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 you know, jumping from the back of the scenery, like the landscape, or just like out of like a corner where I couldn't see him, and just like, fuck. Boom, right in my face. Like it was, ah, it was just frustrating. It wasn't scary. <laughs> like, as I said, I started like puffing my chest down and shit. Like, don't, don't you fucking do that. Don't you fucking do that. Which is hilarious because I was just like basically doing the same thing that was pissing me off. But after a while, it was starting to wear on me. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think though the most rational uh I'd say psychological um explanation for that is uh the one I believe I explained first uh which was you know that is me like uh um an archetype of myself that is a part of myself that has to puff up his chest has to go well Boo, aren't you scared? Like, I mean, the thing is, I've had my fair share of fucked up fights and all that, but I don't want to fight. You know, I, like, I, I, I'm the person who wants diplomacy, you know, like fucking years on the fucking streets of my city, homeless. Um, like, you, you get you enough fucking ass kicking, and I don't mean me kicking other people. Well, I mean, I kicked a few other people's asses, but. Oh, I ask cake plenty. Uh, yeah, I've had enough of that shit for one lifetime, but at the same time, especially since my job involves me being down there, like, it's, it, it demands this sort of, like, ridiculous masculine aggression to just, like, ward off people who, uh, for the most part, are, like, drug addled and... Uh, or, you know, want to be gangsters, or both most of the time. <sighs> Anyways, I just wanted to share that because I thought it was kind of... It was kind of whack, but, like, I think, um... I think I did, when I was going through all those explanations in my mind as it was happening, I think I did make a breakthrough. Eh, eh, eh. When, um, I, I explained that being a personification of my own behavior. Because when I did that, he stopped doing it for a while. And I say he because, I mean, it sure doesn't look like... I mean, it, the thing is, it doesn't look like a he either. It's like a... I've seen it a couple times, you know, once I saw it made out of bling, gold bling and shit. Like I explained um, the other time, it was like... Uh, just it looked like like kind of like a shadow, but tan color, I guess. And then the last fucking breakthrough was like, um, it was like a big black shadow that would jump and kind of just like try to startle me by like getting as close to my face as possible. Um, yeah, no man, DMT's fucking crazy. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just hope this guy is gonna, this, or this entity, but whatever he is, I hope he's not gonna bully me during my next few trips, because I even asked at the end, I was like, hey, other entities, we get along fine, right? And they're all like, hey, um, and I was like, can you please have a word with this fella? <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I'll let you know what happens, because I'm mean, not sure not the last time you do fucking DMT, um, unless I get hit by a car fucking tomorrow. You know, <laughs> cross my fingers up today if I can stick a needle in my eye. Bye bye. Actually, yeah. Subscribe. Bye bye. Stick a needle in my eye.